probably for at least for the last of this year the last update for the uh, Infinity Sunjar unit that I've made and I've gone all the way from the idea of originally getting rid of the battery in a solar light and using supercapacitors instead this way we aren't throwing out a ton of batteries that usually only last about a year for rechargeables and these will last 20 plus years in the application that I'm putting it in. And it's gone from trying to use a Jewel Thief to boost the power since this doesn't have enough voltage to light a white LED to testing out and trying the NCP1402 chipset uh, booster which originally came on a SparkFun little DC power adapter. And that was my first test with this. And it worked out beautifully. And as you've seen before, my finished unit, one of them, encased in uh, casting resin, the finished circuit board, a supercapacitor, and a solar cell. And it works really well. So uh, I'm going to fulfill all my offer and make it open source. Uh, down below, look, click on the description area and expand it a little bit. I will have the link to the... Uh, GitHub page that I just put up earlier today, which has the pictorial schematic, this way you can reference it, it has a parts list in text format of all the parts, names, and the um, product number that you can order them from newark.com, that they're exact same ones I used in here, the uh, Gerber files, so this way you can order your own circuit boards directly from OSH Park or whichever fab you want to. They'll work at any uh, circuit board fabricator. Uh, I personally like OSH Park. They're very cheap for very small boards on this size. I can't remember what the price is for three, but you're not even talking five dollars. I think it's probably like three or four dollars for three boards. Just remember, if you're going to make this, this is not a beginner's board. It's the only two components on it that are through hole is the LED and the little tines on the end of the supercapacitor. Everything else is surface mount. So it will take a little bit of skill, but I made sure when I designed this board, since this was my first foray into surface mount, that I used larger components. I didn't use the absolute minuscule. So it makes it a little easier. But take one more look at it. Everything is surface mounted, except for the supercapacitor and the LED. So keep that in mind before you order it. I'm not sure when I will be doing a second Tindy run of these since the holidays are creeping up and everyone knows how holidays and money just disappear really quick. So uh, I'll try to keep everyone updated, but more than likely I'm probably not going to do another run of these until early next year. And I'll probably do another run of 20 or 30. Uh, right now, as of making this video, there's only four people in waiting. So... There's not that much of a demand, but for the four people who are watching, I do plan on doing it again, but you're going to have to be a little patient. Sorry. Um, also, I'm going to be looking in to version 3.0, which is basically the same thing. But I'm trying to find a better way to get all the power out of the solar cell instead of just coupling it directly to the supercapacitor with a blocking diode. You're losing a lot of the conversion efficiency there. So... Uh, I'm waiting for a development board to come in on a chip. It's probably going to take me a few weeks before I even make a, an initial video to say whether this works or not. And if it does work and I can implement it, uh, maybe my early run next year will be version 3.0. I'm not sure. But make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, keep an eye up for updates. They will come slowly but surely as the holidays are going to keep everyone busy. And of course, I'd like to thank everyone that followed along with this whole process of mine. It took about a year probably to finish the whole project and get the first batch out. So, um, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, there is a playlist for this whole section. I'll put the playlist right here. Uh, for people who are just watching this video and don't know what I'm talking about yet, go ahead and watch through the whole playlist. Um, it might be a little bit dry, but... It shows you the thinking process that goes into designing even a basic circuit and testing it out and finally making it out the market. So it's been a fun time and I'm not done yet. So thanks.